So eight signs of an inventory control crisis. So I, I, I go into customers on a frequent basis. I see situations where um, I walk in and they start describing some situations to me and I can basically regurgitate back to them that, well, you're probably experiencing these, these issues. So these are the things that I see very regularly. I see that they have very high inventory turns. So I walk into companies and I find out they have two inventory turns. Well, I know they're having a problem. There's something really, really wrong with their buying and inventory control process. And it, especially if the industry average is 10. Um, they're not able to generate accurate inventory reports. I know that if you're not able to, to generate accurate inventory reports, the consequence of that is probably you're gonna be buying too much inventory or you're gonna have a lot of stock outs. Expediting is a way of life. So in any company where I walk in and I find that they, they, they are constantly expediting, everything is being expedited, they actually have a person on staff whose title is expediter, or they have a couple people who do that job, I know they have major issues with purchasing and inventory control. Lead times are not well known. And this is a very common thing. I even find this in some places where the inventory is fairly, fairly controlled, where if I ask the purchasing department, what's the lead time from this vendor? they kind of hem and haw because they don't want to tell me. Typically, what I find is in those circumstances, the issue is there's two possibilities. One is the vendor is unpredictable and they have a really bad vendor. And then I'm, I'm thinking, okay, what, why is your purchasing department not on top of vendor quality? Sometimes because they're expediting and chasing, chasing problems instead of um, proactive. But the second reason is because they get a lot of air freight. And because they get air freight, they can have an overnight shipment come in but in other cases, it might be a situation where they, they need um, uh, the, a normal delivery is four weeks. And so by um, they won't tell me a lead time because uh, they don't want to admit that the normal lead time is four weeks, but they air freight things all the time. Vendor performance cannot be measured. So this kind of gets back to that last point, which is the, um, a lot of times I find the purchasing department is not managing vendor performance. And so they can't really tell me, um, they can't tell me accurately how long or how effective vendors are. And a lot of the times that's because they aren't really tracking if vendors are delivering on time or not because they're, they themselves are so screwed up, they're rushing orders constantly. Uh, safety stock levels are not present. That's a pretty big sign that there's something wrong with your inventory control process. Now that's going to be for parts that should be stocked. There are obviously parts that should not be stocked. Those should not have safety stock levels. That's totally rely, uh, uh, proper. A zero safety stock level is a safety stock level if it's being thought out. Items can be randomly overstocked or understocked, meaning that um, if I go in this week, I'm going to find out that they have too much of part X. If I go back three weeks from now, they're going to have they're going to have run out of part X. So they're they're not maintaining a, um, a level load or a level level um, ordering pattern so that they can make sure that part X is, is always in stock. Sometimes that's a supplier problem. And then the last one is materials go missing. And I have a, an ironic or interesting story about a customer who had a lot of inventory control problems, blamed it on their ERP software. We're constantly uh, looking at different things like getting barcoding systems. And what actually helped them solve their inventory problem was they put a camera in. And they found out that there was a staff member who was loading his pickup truck at night with parts that had been fabricated during the day he was a night shift uh, operator. He was taking it to the uh, scrap dealer and he was getting cash for the scrap that was being produced by the company. And however, however, what they were finding and they thought their inventory was, was being, the ERP system was, was losing the, ER, the inventory and it turned out it was theft. So it's amazing the kind of stuff that, um, that can be revealed when you, when you really dig into why your inventory adjustments are occurring. And they, they would just randomly adjust the inventory. They never really tried to find out why it was happening. 